my name is Kwai, Kwai Diaz. I am 25 years old and I am currently a nursing student. I started going to Passion, I think the first time I went to Passion was in November 2022. Mm -hmm. um, my attendance has been on and off, but definitely since I guess mid 2023, I can confidently say I'm pretty, pretty locked in with the community at Passion Church. No, that's dope, man. I feel like it's 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 cool hearing everybody's story on coming to Passion and kind of, you know, like for me it was Danny, seeing it through Danny and, and just seeing it, like the hints of it coming. Like how did you kind of get into it before we get into the nitty gritty talk about community? Yeah, so like I've, I've been hearing stories of people getting to know Passion through mutual friends, um, coming from other churches, but... I've actually, I, I came across Passion on Instagram, bro. Mm. Um, I think it was an IG reel or something like that where I, I sort of stumbled across their page. I really liked the, their vibe. And um, I checked out their page. I love the aesthetic. And I sort of, that was the end of the story. And I came and checked out their service. And uh, I really liked it. I liked the vibes and the people there. And like when when you think of the word community, kind of what, and especially in like the church context, like what what comes to mind with with that word and 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 like the power of community. I think earlier on, like a few years back, before I was part of Passion Church, I I sort of went to church and approached it like I have to do all of these things. I have to serve. I have to talk to people. I have to help lead Bible studies. I have to help um, do worship sort of as a way to be in community, I guess. Mm. Like I would I would go to church and I would attend church things because I had that role, because I, I was assigned a job or a task and that was something that I needed to do. And it wasn't so much so, um, oh, these are people that I like being with. These are people that, um, you know, um, who know my burdens kind mm -hmm. of thing. And so looking at that back then and comparing to how it is now, I I can say that I going going to church and going attending community groups is so much more for me now the people and it is for the relationships. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I guess for example right now leading community groups just, I don't see that as so much of a, a job or something that I have to do to check the box of, I'm a good, I'm Christian. A good Christian, this is what God wants me yeah. to do. But it's more so like I, being someone who's experienced community groups before in this church, I really understood and I really, I learned the meaning of like what relationship looks like. It didn't feel like um, some function that you had to do because it was a church organized event. And that's sort of the vibe that I'm, I'm bringing I'm bringing and feeling coming into this um, this season is just, yes, I guess you can call me a leader or whatnot, but I really do see myself as just one of the homies, you know, being able to talk with um, with friends of similar ages, you know, being able to develop and cultivate friendships and bonds. Um, yeah, so I guess in short, it's not so much anymore like a job or yeah, a responsibility task, something or a you need task, to do. right? Like something on a checklist. It feels so much more like I'm doing this out of the joy of my heart because I've seen what relationships and communities can do in my life. Like I'm excited to share what people can discover and how that can affect their lives. Mm. If that, if that makes sense. No, I feel that. I, 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 I feel like that's a part, part of the reason why I, I'm doing it too. Cause I feel like a lot of times I can go to church like see a few people that I know and then like you dip but like I feel like the awesome part of this is we're gonna get to meet so many different people and so many new people uh what are you most excited about for this upcoming season of community groups and kind of leading but also just being part of it dude I'm so excited to see like what I guess the many different faces of people like in, in Sunday service, you, you do get to see so many people. It's great, but everything's a little bit chaotic here and there because after fellowship, you have people scrambling to leave. You have people um, talking amongst each other. But I feel like the, the exciting thing about community groups is that 
you just have a set schedule with the same group of people that you're going to be with for, I guess, the next two, three months. Mm -hmm. And I guess having that consistency of being able to know, okay, these people are going to come. Like I'm, I'm slowly developing and beginning to see who they are because I guess we're going to be seeing them on a weekly basis, right? That's the thing that I'm super pumped about is really just seeing friendships unfold, like getting to know, oh, this person likes this, this person doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this person's weird for liking this, this person's <laughs> weird for liking that. And like just seeing people be authentic with each other, you know, mm. like I think that's so dope. I think that's so exciting. Community groups is, is just another way to get to know people the mm -hmm. same way that you would go to school every day find some classmates that you vibe with the same way that you would go to your job meet your workmates to find common interests and vibe with some people i think community groups is just another way to meet people and i guess mingle you know um get to know interests get to know the people that you really do are able to connect with and i said this earlier um just also having that extra layer of knowing who God is, mm. I feel like is just another, it's another element to being able to connect on a deeper level. Um, it says in, like, I feel like as us Christians, it's something so, so important that I cannot exaggerate is just being in relationship with one another. Um, and I guess it just reflects how God wants us to be towards mm. him and him towards us it's not just some guy in the sky saying hey you have to do this or you have to do that to be a good christian no like the way that god loves us and the way that um he shows his love for us is in relationship he mm -hmm. says hey Kwai, like i love you um i want to let you know these are the things that are happening to you they may hurt they may suck but you know what like i'm here for you this is what a relationship is and so, like, in, in a similar way, like, I, I'm excited to see those types of relationships unfold in what looks like a community group. I went on a bit of a ramble there, but... <laughs> no, no, I, I feel like that's, that's super facts, especially because I feel like for our church, it's a younger church, per se, so it's, like, for a lot of us, it's hard to navigate, yeah, you know, dude. like, the everyday life of having friends that aren't in the church and then having friends that are and having this community is like very important you know like you were saying um it's it's not about just like you were saying just god being like you need to do this you need to do this but it's like living it with others mm. doing it with others is such a like powerful way to learn and be, understand that like you're not going through these things alone yeah um don't know where i'm going with that but i i, I think this was i think this was good do you have anything else you want to say about community groups Maybe which community group you're leading for those that may not know. First of all, we I am leading the Joyce Collingwood Edmonds community group. I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's the best community group just because, you know, everyone there is awesome. But I think in general, man, like I'm so stoked for community groups because it is just a place where you can build relationship. Like I didn't know what I was missing mm -hmm. in relationship and community until I really felt that sense of Oh, I have a group of people who have my back. I have a group of people who understand me in and out. And obviously these things take time to like develop, but just being given the opportunity to find those seeds or to find that, that, that door that mm -hmm. could lead to that, that chance, like I think is so awesome. And I, I'm just so stoked to see people laugh, to pe for people to maybe even pull on each other's strings, you know, mm -hmm. out of fun and out of love. But I am... I'm looking forward to the season and seeing how God's going to move in it, dude. Season of togetherness, man.